Hello, welcome back to Linus Wednesdays, where we look at Linus tips and tricks on a Wednesday. So I've just purchased a Key Station Mini 32 MK3 from M Audio, which is a MIDI controller. And the instructions say on the box it works with the Macintosh and works with Windows. The software you get is for Windows and Macintosh, but there's no Linux software. Can we get it working with Linux? Well, when I plugged into the Mac, I ran GarageBand, a number of inputs have changed, and I was able to use it out of the box with GarageBand. When I downloaded the software, it's only available for Windows and only available for, for Macintosh. So I downloaded the Mac version and that worked no problems. But I want to get it working on Linux using the Linux Multimedia Studio. If we go to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash LMMS.io forward slash download hashtag Linux. And you can, it says install LMMS on Linux, Windows and Mac OS. And then what version I've got is 64-bit LMMS 1.2.2. If we go into our terminal, plug in the MIDI keyboard, shift, control, make it a bit bigger, and do an LS USB. It says there, M Audio Key Station Mini 32 MK3. And it says bus 001, device 005. And there's the ID there. There's my Blue Snowball microphone I'm using now. And there's my Microsoft LifeCam 3000. So I'm using the Microsoft product on Linux. Again, that's working out of the box. If we right click on the app image we've downloaded, so LMS 1.2.2, press on properties, permissions, and then allow execute and file as a program. Tick the box, let's close, and run the app image. Move the song editor over there, up to there, back over to there. We click on something like triple oscillator and click on the piano keys here. Tick enable with the input, and don't matter what I do with the M audio, it's not gonna work. I can play it on the keys by clicking the mouse. That's working, no problems. If I click on the spur gear, MIDI input, you'll see that it just says input, and our key controller, MIDI controller is not listed. If I press on edit, go to settings, Click here, which is the MIDI input, and change it from Jack MIDI to Alsa Sequencer, Advanced Linux Sound Architecture. Now, you could try it on Raw MIDI or OSS MIDI, but mine seems to work on Advanced Linux Sound Architecture. I'm going to press OK. Please note, most changes won't take effect until you restart Linux LMMS. Let's give it a restart. Move the song editor over here and click on triple oscillator. Click here, the keys, enable the MIDI input. And you'll see that might want to do it again. It's still not working. If I click on the spur gear, MIDI input, and you'll see now we've got a few more options there. And the last one here it says 32 to 0, key station, mini 32 MK3, key station. So key station, mini 32 MK3. Key station MIDI 32 MK3 MIDI 1. Click on this one. Let's mute the track. If that happens, just mute the track. You can click on here and here. And we can unmute the track now. And does it work? Working, no problems. I can click on here, which is my instrument plugins. I can go down here. Let's do the, you can do a SID. We do a free boy. Click on free boy, drag it to there mute the last track and click on free boy and there you go free boy is a free boy color and that's a uh, emulator for the sound for um like the game boy click there click on enable midi input see if it works it seems to go through just check it midi input and click there that's better they recognize it first of all but we just need to click here midi and input and the key station 32 you can also do the output there if you need to do it as well but i'm going to click on that one so we can now put to play us some game boy tunes so there we go let's try with another application quick about saving and i downloaded and the sound of video so i've got this from the uh software center vpmk which is a virtual midi piano keyboard 
click on edit and then click on MIDI connections and you've got ALSA, MIDI driver is ALSA, no MIDI input and there's my key station MIDI 32 MK3, press OK, let's do electric guitar jazz there you go it's working no problems and you've got different instruments on here you can go up we do acoustic piano I can use the octave up and down because it's only got 32 mini keys. If I go down, up on the octave, go down again. So the octave's now working. Does the mod wheel work? Yes, no problems. You've got some, they've got the mod wheel working, which is the modulator, and the volume sh should work as well. Anyhow, so does the M Audio Key Station Mini 32 MK3 work on Linux? Yes, it does. It's a winner winner chicken dinner and works out of the box. The instructions have got no, it says nothing on there about working with Linux, but I've just got it working on it just by plugging it in and enabling the MIDI controller in the software. We used LMS and we also used the virtual MIDI keyboard. Now you can also use other things like Rose Garden and whatever software you, uh, you prefer using in Linux to make yourself some music. I'm still playing around with Linux Multimedia Studio, been playing around with it for a few days, so yeah, see what I can do with that using this M Audio. Key Station Mini 32 keyboard MIDI controller. If you found the video of some music not to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching Linux Wednesdays. I'll see you in the next video.